I found a way to make project boxes for electronics um, that are more attractive than what you generally see on uh, online sites these days. Now I've done several electronics projects and I've also spent a lot of time looking for project boxes and I cannot seem to find anything more than just the standard ABS plastic uh, with plastic or metal face plates. So what I've been doing is I discovered that you can go on a certain online auction site and really anywhere and just look for old used broken equipment such as cable modems, DVRs, VCRs, uh, cable boxes, and things like that. Even old Wi-Fi routers any kind of equipment that has an attractive case that looks like it wouldn't be too hard to modify. And I decided to try my hand at that. And I had some success. So here are the results I have so far. So this one is uh, just a cable modem. And it would have been thrown away probably. Who knows what would have happened to it. I don't think it was useful. And it is a little beat up. I had some trouble making the faceplate. But it is just a project box for prototyping. So what I like about this case is it really has a lot of ventilation. It looks pretty nice. And I'm not quite done with it. I still need to make mounting holes for the screws and whatnot. But I'm happy with it so far. And it looks a lot better than most project boxes. And then here's another one. This is a this was actually a DVR. It's all metal. Put my own faceplate in there. I was I had a, I was able to cut the faceplate almost perfectly straight, so I, that went really well. And what I liked about this case, it caught my eye right away. Um, I've covered up the logo. I'm not going to promote any particular logo, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's a silk screen and it would come off probably with the correct solvent. What I like about this box is it's held together by thumb screws that caught my eye right away. It's a very attractive design. It has these thumb screws, you just take off four thumb screws and this whole metal top immediately can be removed. On the side it has mesh ventilation, you can see right there. So that's also metal. So one of the downsides of doing it this way is you have to remove old signage, logos, and decals, but I consider that worth it. Uh, considering you can get a nice project box or prototype box, and if you happen to get this equipment for free then it's even better. I didn't get these for free, but I could have probably if I looked around long enough. Probably find these in the dump. Uh, so these are, this is two of the attempts. I have one more. Let me get that one. So this is another one. This is just a piece of video equipment that I got um, for not too much money. And I don't want to show the logo or anything, but you can see it's a fairly large case. This is much bigger than the ones you normally would find. I mean, if you did find a project box this big, they'd want to charge you like $50 for it. They'd want an arm and a leg. Very nice design. And I haven't made the faceplate yet, but you can see there's all sorts of mounting points in there, all sorts of room. And really, I didn't do that much work to get this thing uh, prepped. It needs cleaning, it needs a faceplate, it needs probably two faceplates. But this is a way you can get attractive project boxes for some effort. It does require some effort. And some of these, uh, you know, some of these boxes are going to require some modification. But if you've got a prototype and you want a better case for it, I think it's worth the effort. If you're going to put that much effort into the, the project itself, you might as well put a little more effort into the case. So I've got three of these so far, and I plan to make more. And now for the faceplate, I used a, a certain material that I've just kind of stumbled upon on an auction site. And I decided to give it a try, so I'll show you that. So here is the material I've been using to make faceplates, and I think that's 3 millimeter. Thick. You can get all different thicknesses, different colors. What it is is PVC foam board. This stuff is, I won't say quite brittle. It's almost brittle feeling. Like it, you feel like it would snap, but it is foam board. But it's much tougher. It's I don't know if that's going to focus on the camera, but it's much tougher. It has a. It's almost like it's been crushed. It's like foam that's been crushed and made very dense and compact. Now this stuff is not exactly cheap, but it is actually pretty tough. And even at three millimeters, yeah, I think you could put buttons and dials in this and they probably wouldn't flex the uh, faceplate too much. Um, if you're worried about flexing, you can always get like the f five or six millimeter, which is going to be awfully tough. So this would be better if, for somebody who had a CNC router or something. 
I just used a, a utility knife that was very difficult. It's very difficult to cut with just a cheap utility knife. So you really need a way to cut. And the method I use for making the face plates is I just simply take uh, the face plate, let's assume this is it, and I secure it down with tape. And I take a sharp knife and I trace around and I get the general outline by passing the knife along. Then I remove the template and then you just take your knife and repeatedly pass it through. Sometimes you can stick the knife in like this and rock it and it'll come right down. But it's risky and you should wear gloves because anytime you're pushing a knife hard, is uh, if it slips you can really do a lot of damage. So that's how I've been making my own project boxes. And I don't think I'll ever go back to the ones you buy from the store because they're usually 20 to $40 and they're very generic looking and I don't find them much less work than this. And this way I save a lot of money and I think it's just, it works for me. So I thought I'd share this simple technique to make electronics project boxes. And also, if you look at it this way, you're recycling electronics waste, which is a good thing. Otherwise, it just goes somewhere and be crushed into pellets and thrown in a landfill somewhere, if even that. So it's, a, it's also a recycling enterprise, you know. And there's a lot of equipment people throw away and they don't want. They just throw it away and so you can get it for free. Take all the electronics out. And it does require some work, but I think it's worth it.